Bueno, muchas gracias amigo. ¿Tenés Exacto. algo para decir a Florida? Que vengan por aquí, es muy bacano, muy bonito. Que vengan a Medellín. Medellín, no Medellín. mejor. Popped out the Uber. I'll go ahead and put the price right here how much it costed. It was like a 15 minute ride, it was super cheap. Anyways, I just came to Avantel, which is a uh, cell phone internet provider. So I'm gonna cop a SIM card. I'll show you guys how much it costs and uh, see about getting data in Medellin. All right, real quick guys, I'm editing this video right now and I remembered that I didn't do a lot of talking during the filming of this video because we were in like, it was like a really quiet room. I just, I didn't feel quite comfortable filming exactly my interaction with the guy helping me out. So I'm gonna kind of explain to you guys what you want to ask for, what, what plan you're looking for. So we have right here, it's called prepago, which is Spanish for prepaid. And um, here I'm just going to show you the different plans that they have, well, the different plans that they have. <clears throat> okay, so more than likely you're in the situation like me and you just want data, right? So this is data plans, basically, that they got here. And um, the one that I asked for is right here, it's this one, 5 gigabytes of data for 30,000 Colombian pesos a month. And um, they have different ones, whatever suits your needs. Let's say 2.7 gigs for the month will be enough for you. You can pay um, 20,000 pesos a month. If you want a gig and a half, it'll be 10,000. But honestly, like if you're gonna drop 20,000 and get, I mean, why not drop fucking uh, $3 more and get you know, double the data. So this is the plan that I got. This is a plan I recommend. This is a plan you're probably going to want to get. It's five gigs data for 30,000 pesos. That's like $10, like a little over $10. I'll put exactly how much it is right there. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Guys, we just copped five gigs of data for 30,000 pesos for 30 days, and that is roughly that's roughly ten dollars and sixty cents. That is absolutely unreal. Five gigs of data, ten dollars, amazing. All right, so now 
I'm pretty hungry, it's like 3 p.m. That whole process took about 45 minutes, by the way. Um, just gonna walk around here. I don't know where I am, but we're gonna find some food and uh, we'll see what it's like. Long pondering, I've decided I'm gonna go with the gnocchis, fucking bolognese. All right, so while we're waiting for the food to arrive, um, I'll let you guys know I did a bunch of research on what data plan I wanted, what cell service to go with, and there's many. There's uh, a company called Glado, a company called Digo, a company called, I think, Movie Star. Um, there's a bunch. I decided to go with Avantel because I pretty much only need data. Like, I'm not going to be making phone calls or anything like that. 5 gigs of data for 30,000 pesos is the best price that I could find online. I checked every single one. And so far, it's working great. I'm getting on. I'm hot spotting to my other phone so that I can iMessage from my American phone number. Um, but yeah, you got you get a little SIM card, you stick it in your phone, and you're good to go as long as your phone's unlocked. One more thing though, Glado is probably the biggest cell provider here in Colombia from all the research that I've done. So if you're not just staying in Medellin or big cities, if you are going to be traveling around Colombia, um, which I might do, I don't know yet. Uh, you might want to go with Lado. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, so you can follow along with my whole trip to Medellin. And make sure to like this video. Like I said before, it does help me a lot. Oh, shout out, yes. This looks fire. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. I'm sitting here in the Uber. My guy just told me that Uber apparently is still illegal in Colombia. I didn't know that. But Apparently, I'm sitting in the front because if I sit in the back, it looks like he's a fucking Uber driver. And if they catch him, they'll take his license, they'll take his car away. So that's why I'm sitting in the front. So heads up, we're coming to Columbia, hopping in Uber. It's way cheaper. I'll put the price right here again. But um, yeah, you gotta, if you're alone, you gotta sit in the front. Somebody's gotta sit in the front so that it looks low key and uh, nobody gets in trouble.